Hello, good people of YouTube. Gotta go ahead with another video. Um, I posted a series of um, scale studies and scale practices on my last few lessons. And I was asked um, a really good question, which is what is, what's the purpose? You know, what's the point? What, how does you know, learning skills help you, basically? And I thought that was a really good question, so I'm going to try to answer as best as I can. But um, also some of it is, as you continue on your music learning journey, you'll start to have your own definitions and your own reasons as to why something is important and how important it, it is. Um, let's start from the beginning. Some people say that music is a language. And I tend to agree. So um, if music is a language, then skills are like the alphabet, right? Like the building blocks of the language. The first thing you should learn when learning the language. Um, and basically everything you do in music pretty much comes from skills. Even skills come from other skills, right? But, um, a uh, good example I could give you is like in the key of C major, right? You know, um, it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? Well, if you play a C major, it comes from that key because you got your C, E, G, right? And if you play a D minor, D, F, A, Let's say minus seven. C. It also comes from that key of C, right? Because you have D, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So within one key, like the C major, you got one is major, two is minor, three is minor, four is major, five is major. 6 is minor, 7 is minor, 7 flat 5, and then you back to 1, right? So all that comes from C major scale. So if you play, um, if you play, you just play the 2, which is D, 5, one and then you went to one in C major. So all that comes from That's why songs are usually in a key. You know, and even within that key each chord is an arpeggio, right? So if you solo and you use an arpeggios, chords lines, licks, that's all coming from the scale. So um, really, <laughs> the scale is like one of the most important things you can learn. And learning, like I was showing the major scale, melodic minor, harmonic minor, it's giving you a bigger box as opposed to just being in the, the pentatonic box. You're going to be in a lot bigger box and have a lot more access and a lot more it'll make you a lot more um able to learn new ideas the more you know the easier it is to, to learn new ideas especially like musical ideas as opposed to just being stuck with pentatonic that's why you know we're working on the major melodic minor harmonic minor so that's the first part of it it's the building block of music Another part of it is like you mentioned, um, it will help you with your hands, coordination of your hands, both hands, right? Because you're practicing. Practicing that is going to help you coordinate your hands. And if you go, especially if you go through the scales the way I was doing it for that length of time, it's really going to help build this hand. You're going to notice your picking getting a lot stronger with you know, the pick going through the strings. 
So it does that. So it's good for technique. It's also good in helping you with musical knowledge. And the more you know, the better it is. You know, like everything else is going to come from the skill. So, um, yeah, if, if you've been playing for a while and you, you can think of other ideas, please comment. You know, if you checking this out and you like the content, subscribe. But yeah, I hope that helps you out. Um, help you see the importance of skills. It's, it is technical as far as technique, but it's also musical, right? Um, guitar players seem to think that it's okay or it's good not to have knowledge of music. And it's a funny thing because you know, I'm not trying to you know, make fun of guitar players, but a lot of, I've been playing for a long time and a lot of times guitar players tend to be like the worst musicians in the band. Like, you know, the keyboard player can tell you what he's playing. Like, oh, what chord is that? He usually knows, oh, it's a minor 11. The guitar player, you're like, oh, what chord was that? He's like, oh, I don't know. What is this? What, what is this one? What is that? Uh, even drummers sometimes know more than guitar players, you know, so, um, yeah, I think it's very important to know, understand what you do. Also, another thing too. Um, let's let's say you're playing. Um, right, that's a John Mayer song. Right, that song. Now, if you can a analyze that, he's going A minor, C, F. I would say that's a six, one, four. All right, and the key of A minor, or you could even look at it from the key of C major. All right, I guess in the key of C major, it'd be a six, one, um, four. All right, so if you wanted to move if you're playing with a singer and the singer's like oh that's not a good key can we do it in e since you know your scales and you know you know one two three four five you want to move it you're going to find the key uh let's say you're moving it to e right so here we go That's the same thing as but I could do it fast on the spot because I have a knowledge of um skills. You know, so yeah. So I hope that's helped you out to see the importance of the skills and Yeah. Alright. See you next time.